Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a second Ranking the Beatles. Today, this afternoon, we'll be ranking the songs off the classic Beatles album entitled The Beatles, or better known as The White Album. This was The Beatles' first and only double album, and there are 30 songs to rank. Like the previous videos, I'll be ranking my least favorite to my favorite. When asked what would be my Desert Island album by any band or musician, I would have to think that the White Album would be a strong contender for that honor, based on the quantity alone. But this record really has four distinct sounds going throughout it. This album was recorded, or the songs rather, were composed during their the Beatles' trip to India to visit the Maharishi um, and study Transcendental Meditation. And some of these songs are based on some of the people that were there and the experiences that they had. And also just that they took time apart from each other to kind of reflect on songwriting and their own individual aesthetic and craft. And so this is not really a Beatles album as it is a uh, just a collection of songs by the four individual Beatles. Um, but this is absolutely a classic album. They've now ditched the psychedelia and this is more just honest, uh, well-crafted pop and rock and roll. So uh, since there are 30 songs, I'm going to be brief about um, how I'm ranking them and not spend as much time talking about it because I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. So we'll start with number 30 and it's got to be Revolution number 9. Not really a song, just a collage of sounds. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's really long. It's, it's kind of nightmarish and it's one that I Unless I just sit down and listen to the entire White Album, it's, it's one that I would always skip over. Number 29. Number 29. Long, long, long. One of George's songs. And I know I should like this more because I know a lot of people really like this song, but man, it's, it's recorded so soft. And it's also kind of freaky, too, and not enjoyable. And I can barely even make out like the lyrics of the song. And, but I know a lot of people just think it's so atmospheric and, and in a good way, creepy in a good way, but it's just it's one that I don't particularly like. And honestly, it's probably the Beatles song I know the least on any Beatles album. It's just one I just never have gravitated towards. Number 28, Wild Honey Pie. It, they're just saying, honey pie, honey pie, honey pie. It, it's a nice transitional piece, but it's not really a fully realized song. So that's number 28. 27. I apologize to anybody who likes this song, but one of my least favorite on this album, and actually one of my least favorite later period Beatles songs, Oh Blah Dee, Oh Blah Da. If you remember the show Life Goes On, it was the theme song to it, kind of a uh, Calypso, Jamaican... Uh, song it, it it's yeah, it's annoying it, I, I don't really have anything good to say about it I, it it's a skip for me all the time when I was like 10 I liked it but number 26 number 26 Ringo's first song that he has written that was recorded on a Beatles album don't pass me by it's a Ringo song what can I say um, yeah pretty weak track. The White Album has a lot of excess and if it had been, there are some schools of thought that it's perfect the way it is and then there are some people like myself who believe that uh, if you were to cut this down to like 20 songs instead of 30, maybe, maybe 23 songs, it would be perfect. Um, probably still going to be a double album, but some people think it should have just been a single album. It would be the greatest Beatles single album of all time. I disagree with that. I actually like the quantity, but there are some, there are a few turds on here, and uh, these these first five, yeah, I could definitely do without them. Number 25. 
Number 25. Okay, now we're getting into the territory where I, I, I like all of these songs, some more than others, but Julia is my number 25, and actually I think I like this song a little better than the rating I'm giving it, but it's recorded so softly. I mean, like long, long, long on the, the second, uh, uh, the, the disc two, it, it's just hard to make it, make out the, the melody and, and, the, and the lyrics. It's a John song, and it's actually quite beautiful. Um, and it actually has risen on my uh, on my opinion, but uh, it's still 25. I mean, I, I've listened to this album thousands and thousands of times, and it's only recently that I've kind of started to like this song, but we'll just keep it there for tradition. <laughs> That's kind of where I've had it my whole life. Number 24, Cry Baby Cry. I like this song as well. Um, it's also recorded really soft, and the production is really... I don't know it really lo-fi but I do like it um, so cry baby cry and Julia are, are good songs just not a big fan of the production number 23 number 23 this is kind of a fun song but it's I, if we're looking at great songs and songwriting and ones that I you know just consider classics then I can't put this one any higher than this. So this might actually be a little too high. I probably could have put this beneath Julia and Cry Baby Cry, but I've always liked it. Why don't we do it in the road? Paul sings the heck out of it. Um, just a standard blue song. It's you know the the title and the, the lyrics are ridiculous, but it's a fun one. Um, yeah, that's number twenty three. Number twenty two. Uh, moving right along, back to the second disc or record. We've got. Savoy Truffle, another Harrison song. A lot of people rank this one really low. I'm probably pretty generous at 22, but I like like that horn sound. It kind of reminds me of Good Morning, Good Morning off of Sgt. Pepper. Um, I got to get you into my life. That, that might be a bit of a stretch. Yes, they both have horns, but that's a fantastic song, and this is a, a, a fun song. But It's about a box of chocolate, that the different flavors in the box of chocolate, so kind of scraping the barrel for lyrical ideas, but I actually, I, I like it. I, a lot of people probably put this like at the very bottom, but it gets a pretty high ranking for me considering. All right, number 21. Everybody's got something to hide except for me and my monkey. It's a rocker. It's fun. It's not a great song. I used to like it more when I was younger just because of that title. And it, it, it does move at a nice brisk pace. And, it, and the second album tends to be kind of a, a, a slower paced affair so it, it's it's welcome where it is but um yeah it's 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 a good song it, it 21 is about right number 20 mother nature's son it's a pretty little paul song he has prettier songs on the white album but uh enjoyable um actually the first person to to record this song even though Paul wrote it was uh, Harry Nilsson, who the both John and Paul said was their favorite American pop musician um, through interviews like in 1966, 1967. So yeah, the, he debuted Mother Nature's Son. Number 19, probably could put this a little lower too, probably should have, but like I said, I this is the album I've probably listened to the most of any Beatles record. And um, Birthday, it has an annoying quality to it, you know. It, it's got the classic riff, da -da 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 -da, but you know, the, they say it's your birthday, and it's my birthday too, yeah. But I love the middle section, that bridge, birthday, and then some of that interplay between the vocals and the guitar. I like that a lot, which is why it's number 19, but probably, I don't know, I could 25 through 19 can all be swapped around, and something has to land somewhere, so birthday's 19. Number 18, Continuing Story of Bungalow Bill. Actually, this, this one could be in that same ballpark from Julia up until Continuing Story of Bungalow Bill. This is a story about one of the people uh, who was on the uh, um, trip to India, and he was a hunter, and he had talked about his different things that he'd hunted, you know, and so this kind of tells the story. It's, it's a fun little uh, story song. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not a great song. But I, I do like it. I, I suppose, 
you know, in the same realm as these other songs here from Julia to, to continuing story of Bunkalo Bill. All right. So I'm going to draw a hard line here after 18. Now we're at number 17, and these songs I would put quite a bit higher. So th there's, a, there's a separation, there's a gap here between quality, in my opinion. Number 17 is a beautiful little Paul ballad, I Will. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a few songs on the White Album that are kind of similar. So we talked about Mother Nature's Son, I Will, and there's one that's going to come up much later that I like quite a bit more that's just even prettier. So there, it's like he goes from qual you know good to really good to great. And I put the I Will kind of in that really good. Number 16. Number 16. Your Blues, fun little rocker. The Plastic Ono Band does this on the uh, uh, Rolling Stones uh, Rock and Roll Circus. It, uh, it It's nitty, it's gritty. It sounds like it could be on like uh, Abbey Road or Let It Be. It, it, it's a fun one. Um, and great, great John performance. Great vocal performance by John. Number 15. Sexy Sadie, what have you done? Another fun little John song. Uh, the, the piano is a welcome addition. Uh, it, it's kind of its a, own unique sound. There's not really a Beatles song that sounds like it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's one that I like quite a bit. Number 14, I'm so tired. So we've got a bunch of John songs here in a row. This song is, as the title would suggest, just kind of slow and and, and uh, hazy but there, there's points in the song um, where it's like you're getting out of this like haziness this and then it puts you back down again which is kind of cool uh, and it, it kind of seems like a nice companion to revolvers I'm only sleeping which is a superior song to I'm so tired but I do like I'm so tired quite a bit all right number 13 I have that's my 13th favorite song, Harrison's Piggies. Probably ranking this too high, but I've always liked it. It's got this Baroque pop quality to it with like the, the chamber orchestra. Um, this is one of the uh, um, notorious Charles Manson songs that during the Sharon Tate murders, you know, he would write Piggies to say that the Beatles had possessed him to, to kill and or have his, his gang kill. Um, but take that aside. It's 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 a fun song. Yeah, they, they give them a damn good whacking. Number twelve. For number twelve, I have. Where did I put number twelve? Did I forget to rank number twelve? No, there it is. And this is a this is a surprise. This is a very contrarian choice because a lot of people hate this song. It is a Ringo performance, and he does quite nice. And it's got this beautiful orchestra. It's Good Night. The final song after Revolution Number no. 9. And maybe I rank it so high because I'm so glad that Revolution Number no. 9 is over. But I include this on a lot of my mixed Beatles uh, playlists because it's just, it's just a, a peaceful, relaxing song. Ringo sings it so beautifully. Um, I'm not sure who wrote it. It's, it's a Lennon-McCartney song. Typically, they would give him kind of the throwaway songs, but it ha and if it wasn't for the production and the, and the orchestration, um, it would be much lower. But I think it's just a beautifully produced track. So, Good Night gets my number twelve. Number eleven, Revolution One, the, the acoustic take. I prefer the single, the Revolution, that's electric, and the scream. But this is the you know the say you want a revolution. It's called Revolution One because it was it was the first take and they do the ooh shooby doo ah ah ooh shooby doo ah. If this was the electric version, it would be probably top five. But the first version I don't I don't like as much. But I, it's a it's a great song. It's a classic Beatles song. You know it's funny how the White Album was always my favorite. But now that I'm thinking about it, like there's a lot of songs on here, and that's why I'm doing this this exercise. Um, mainly just to kind of see wh where I rank these songs and, and then eventually where I rank the albums um, in terms of 
preference. And and maybe the White Album is taking a step back. But let's see, we got ten more songs to to pick, and if we have ten awesome songs, then maybe it is the best. All right. So Revolution One, excellent song, very good arrangement. Number ten, Helter Skelter. I like the song a lot. Some people call this like the first like hard rock heavy metal song. Once again, this is a Manson inspired song. When I get to the bottom, I go back. I think I like the performance by Paul, and I think I like what it opened up in terms of um, other musical styles, like what created other musical styles, more than I actually like the song. But the performance is killer. You know, I got blisters on my fingers at the end. Uh, the drumming by Ringo is is bombastic, and uh, I mean, it, it's a classic track, and uh, the performance is is stellar out of this world but the song itself yeah i mean i like what it what it produced in terms of what you know the, the creation of heavy metal but the actual song itself it's not it's not very catchy it's not one that you sing in the shower or anything like that all right number nine i'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it <laughs> for number nine i have glass onion a fun song this is the one that's kind of got there's this whole Paul is dead thing with, with Sergeant Pepper, and, and then this is kind of like throwing in these little clues because they were they were instead of the Beatles getting upset with it, they were like, this is there's no such thing as bad publicity. Let's just kind of run with it. But it's a fun rocking song, and uh, it's got some good guitar uh, and clever lyrics. Always liked it. Not a classic song, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's number nine. Number eight. This one is generally regarded as one of the weaker songs, but like I was saying with Magical Mystery Tour, some of these uh, music hall songs that Paul writes hit a home run for me, and some of them don't. Honey Pie is such a fun song. I mean, it, it's like you're in uh, the Roaring Twenties in New York City, and uh, you're gonna go see a see a movie, a, a silent picture with you know the person on the on the piano. Um, accompanying the, the movie and with the written narrations. I just love it. She was a working girl. And it's got like this old-fashioned sound like you're playing from a gramophone. Honey Pie, number eight. Number seven, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. George Harrison's classic song on the White Album. Eric Clapton guest stars on this. He plays the guitar solo. Uh, it's it's just not – it's a great song, but I like Six better than it. And you all know this song, so I don't need to talk about it. Um, I just – Harrison's voice on this song doesn't – I like the song, and I like – love the Clapton guitar. I, I love the song. Love the Clapton playing. I don't really like George's voice on this song for whatever. I don't know. I don't know. He, his singing gets better on Abbey Road and Let It Be, and I even think maybe some of the albums before it. For whatever reason, his voice just doesn't sound great on this song. Number six, Rocky Raccoon. Fun little saloon song. Doop, 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 doop. Fun story about this, this uh, character named Rocky Raccoon who you know, gets jealous over his, his, his woman, and then he, he gets into a, a fight at the saloon and gets shot, and the doctor comes in, and he's... He's drunk and stinking of gin, and but yeah, it, it paints this cool western picture, and it, it, it's it's a fun. Once again, the White Album provides so much variety in terms of musical styles, and is it a great song? Probably not, but it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, and it's a great Paul performance. And some of these songs I actually like to play when I do uh, solo shows. Love playing Rocky Raccoon. Love playing Honey Pie. Um, Love playing Good Night. Sexy Sadie's a fun one. I've done I'm So Tired before. I Will is a fantastic song. Mother Nature's Son. So they're really good, like, singer-songwriter type songs. All right, where are the top five? I know I said I was going to make this brief, and it's probably 15 minutes already. Number five. My fifth favorite song. Okay, so we talked about the three Paul songs that I kind of think of are similar. We've got... Um, the Mother Nature's Son, which was the good one. I Will is the very good one. And here's the great one. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Beautiful song. It's a classic song. I don't like some of the bird effects in it. Wish those hadn't been in there. But the song itself is, is a masterpiece. It's a beautiful ballad performed vocally to perfection. 
Um, and I don't think anybody dislikes this song, and there's a good reason behind it. Number four, back in the USSR, Mike Love of the Beach Boys went along to India to visit the Maharishi, and this was kind of their little fun jab at the Beach Boys. It's sung in the style like of a surfer song, but of course they're talking about the Soviet Union, and it's a great album opener. It's a rocker, great harmonies, fun song doesn't take itself too seriously that's I think four is about the best place for it all right top three okay I'm gonna go with Martha my dear is my number three song broke pop <laughs> love broke pop songs love the piano it's about Paul's sheepdog and uh, yeah I, I probably overrate this song uh, a lot of people would probably put this in the middle or towards the bottom but I've always liked it yeah, it's my number three. Might seem blasphemous to put it that high, you know, when Blackbird is number five. But I, I prefer Martha, my dear. Maybe it's because of the birds and the birds chirping sounds in Blackbird. But I love Martha, my dear. Hold your hand up, you silly girl. Boom, boom, boom. And the orchestra comes in and just it's a, it's a great production. Number two. These two and one are by far my favorite. So there's a huge gap here now. Number two, Dear Prudence. Just like it is on the record, just like it is on the record, beautiful song, absolutely gorgeous arrangement, beautiful performance. Yeah, and the sun is up when it slows down. The second the sky is blue. What can I say? Well, probably my top, probably crack my top 20, 25 Beatles songs of all time, but. My number one, she's not a girl who misses much. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. She's well acquainted with the touch of a belt. Happiness is a warm gun by far. So there's another line there. Great, greatest song. Top ten. Easy. Maybe top five. Yeah, top five favorite Beatles song of all time. Uh Different fragments of other songs put together. And then you got that Mother Superior Jump the Gun. It's a hard rocking song. This, along with Helter Skelter, are the two like really hard rocking songs. And then it's got like this doo wop section at the end. The happiness is a warm and bang, bang, shoot, shoot. When I hold you in my arms. Oh, yeah. Ah. How could this not be number one? I was talking to someone recently, and I won't say her name, <clears throat> Lauren. She doesn't like this song. I can't believe it. it, it it's, it's fantastic. It's a masterpiece. I, it's right up there with The Day in the Life and Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields. And I Am the Walrus. <sighs> I don't know. It's my number one. For sure, without a doubt, without hesitation, and without any apologies. It gets the red. So I'm not going to read them all again, but you can see there's my order and my top. Let's go with uh, my top ten here. Helter Skelter, number nine, Glass Onion, eight, Honey Pie, number seven, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, six, Rocky Raccoon, five, Blackbird, four, Back in the USSR, three, Martha My Dear, number two, The Beautiful Dear Prudence, and then number one, Happiness is a Warm Gun. Oh, yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you haven't watched the previous videos, they're on my Facebook page or subscribe, even better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment below on your favorite White Album songs. And uh, if you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that little notification bell in the right-hand corner, which will notify you whenever I post any new content. And if you don't have any interest in watching these, uh, these uh, ranking videos and you've gotten this far, then what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Just kidding. We'll see you next time for Ranking the Beatles, Abbey Road. Oh, excuse me, Yellow Submarine. Take care.